Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman and we're back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex and today we're going to be taking a look at organizing your media a little bit better because my movies directory is getting larger and larger and I wanted to find some ways to more easily navigate things including uh, being able to pull up all of my daughter's movies at once versus having to hunt around through the rest of the library. I'm going to show you how to use the collections feature in this video and look at a couple of other tips as well. Now before we get into this though I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, all the opinions you're about to hear are my own, and they have not reviewed this content before it was uploaded. So let's get into it and see how we can create collections and begin to organize my media library a little bit better. So we're going to begin organizing this mess by creating a collection, and this is something that's kind of a new feature to Plex, but it's available to all Plex users, including free users. And what I'm going to do here is select a few movies that my daughter wants in her collection. So I've got a couple of Frozen shorts here. I've got uh, the Finding Nemo movies. I'll throw Aladdin in there and uh, maybe grab something else here as we're scrolling down, maybe this one right here. And what I'm going to do now is go over to the Edit button here at the top of the screen. And when I click on that, I'll be able to edit some of the metadata for all of these movies. So you can see right now it's giving me the confirmation that we've got Finding Dory, Finding Nemo, and four other things. And if I go over to Tags, uh, what you're going to see here at the bottom is something called Collections. And I'm going to create one called Kira, which is my daughter's name. And I'm going to click on Save Changes. And you'll see now it added a Kira collection here into the mix with the rest of my movies. And if I just go over here to Deselect All to get out of that selection uh, option there, and we go over to the Kira collection, you can see now that we've got all of her movies that we just selected in one spot so I can more easily navigate to that. Uh, likewise, I can also view this entire uh, list here as just a collection list. So if I don't want to see all the movies but just my collections of movies, I can go in and take a closer look at them. Now the cool thing about the collections feature is that it can pull in media from different libraries. So for example, on my Plex server, I put my movies in a movie library so Plex can organize and grab the metadata properly. And then my TV shows are in a TV show library because TV shows have uh, seasons and episodes episodes and a different means of organization. So Plex separates those uh, libraries to have different functions essentially to better organize your media. But when you create a collection, uh, what will happen is, is it will uh, give you all the stuff from all the libraries that you can then access from a single place. So right now I'm in the movies library. I clicked on my Star Wars collection and you can see I've got all of my Star Wars movies here. But if you look down at the bottom of the list, it also has Star Wars Rebels, which is a TV show that is currently stored in my shows to watch uh, media library, which is a TV show library. So I could go and get at the TV show from the movie side of things if I want. Now likewise, if I browse through the Star Wars collection in my TV show library, it will put a preference on the TV show first, but it also gives me access to the movies as well. So this is a great way if you've got, you know, multimedia kinds of shows that appear on television and in film, uh, you can keep all of it in one place, even if they're in different libraries on your Plex server. And again, this works because if I go in and edit the Star Wars Rebel metadata and go over to the tags, you'll see that I have it in a Star Wars collection as well, and that's how Plex knows to put all that stuff together. My only gripe with this, let me go back over to the movies thing, is that I can't organize this the way that I want at the moment. So you'll see here in uh, Star Wars right now, the films are being organized in the order in which they were released, with Episode 4 being first and The Last Jedi being last. But I really wanted to put the prequels in order before uh, Episode 4, but I can't do that at the moment, because right now, if we go into... Uh, the advanced setting here for collection order. It's only allowing me to do it by release date or alphabetical, unfortunately. So hopefully they can make some changes to this to uh, make it a little bit easier to organize things the way you want. But at the moment, it's kind of nice just to have this ability to centralize content. You can also do things like change the poster and background on it as well, and you can get a good sense as to which files are uh, being incorporated into that collection too, just by uh, clicking through some of those options there. So collections are pretty useful. Let's take a look at some other things though that might help you organize your Plex library a little bit better. 
So one thing you might encounter on your Plex library is that maybe you've got a file that was uh, mismatched or not even matched at all to the metadata library. So here is Apollo 13 that I uh, grabbed off of one of my Blu-ray discs. And you can see right now it's just got like a thumbnail of the video file and it wasn't uh, finding the data properly. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why this might occur. Uh, if you are ripping your own movies, this is something you might see quite often because the file name may not be something that Plex recognizes. So one of the things you can do here is go over to Fix Match. And what I did here was click on this little uh, group of periods here to get to that. So I'm going to go over to uh, Fix Match now. And what it's going to do is give me a few other options of what it thinks it might be. And because for whatever reason the movie was set to 2006 initially, that kind of threw it off and it thought maybe it was the movie Disaster, uh, but it was not. So I'm going to go over here and just click on Apollo 13 from 1995, which I think is the correct match. And now you'll see it's going to go out to uh, the Plex servers and grab the proper metadata for this movie. And it should take a second or two, and then we'll have uh, the proper thumbnail and all the right information along with that film. Now, although it's got the metadata properly organized, I'm not seeing the poster yet that I wanted to see. So I'm just going to go over here to Edit and go over to Poster. And you can see it pulled down a few different poster options for me to choose from. So I'll just choose maybe uh, this one here. And then I can also set the background for when I'm in the, uh, the uh, app there for uh, that to look nice on my TV screen. So I'll hit that and there you go. Now we've got Apollo 13 fixed. We can then do the same thing for some of the other movies that are not properly indexing on my Plex server. Now sometimes you may not see that match option available to you on that drop down menu. And what I found is that if you just go in and click edit, and click cancel and go back, that match thing will suddenly appear. It's either going to say match or find match depending on uh, what kind of metadata it was able to get from that file. This might be a bug that it just needs to get triggered here to uh, begin that matching process. And if you're unable to find what you're looking for with the auto match, you can go in and click on search options here and search a few other databases if you want to try to figure out uh, the best uh, option to match up with your data here. So I could search the Plex database, the movie database, or uh, personal media. So maybe we can try the movie database here, click search, and we'll get more options available to us for better matching up our data. And there are some other ways to drill down your list of movies on your server, and that can be done through the filters that you'll see at the top of the screen here. And this function exists on mobile and on TV too, and I'll show you some ways to do that in a second. But let's say I just wanted to go and see what comedy movies I had in my library. So what I can do is just drill down on genre and select comedy here, and there you go. You can see just the movies that uh, Plex has registered as a comedy for me to watch. So you do have some pretty easy ways to organize things on your server, and I think the collections makes it even easier because now you can really determine exactly what you want to go together, and again, even pull in stuff from other uh, libraries on your server. Let's take a look now and see how these organizational tools work on mobile and on TV. So here is the mobile version of Plex running on an Android phone here. And the way you can get at some of these filters is to click on the little filter icon that you see right here. And if I tap on that, you can see I can switch right to collections if I wish. And uh, then I can then drill back into my Star Wars thing, for example, and see all the films organized in a very similar way to what we had before. Uh, but I can also go back to the movies here and uh, do it by genre again too. So I could maybe go to animation this time and uh, close that out, and then I'll just be presented with uh, films that are categorized as an animation. So pretty easy to get at that uh, on your mobile device. Let's take a look now and see how to do it on TV. All right, so we're on my NVIDIA Shield now, so we're going to go over to Movies and go to All Movies. And once again, we've got all of our thumbnails here kind of mashed up together. So I'm going to go over now to this little thing that says Movies. I'm going to click on that and go over to collections. And now you'll see that list is whittled down to the collections just like we saw before. So I've got three collections set up. And by the way, a movie can exist in more than one collection. So I could have uh, Star Wars in a Star Wars collection, but also in a sci-fi collection if I wanted to. So you can uh, mix and match these things any which way you want. Uh, if I want, I can go back to the movie list here. And if I go over now to all, and then go to genre, I can then once again filter it. Uh, this time maybe we'll pick adventure and it will 
uh, do the same thing you saw on the other platform. So things tend to be in different places depending on the platform you're using, but it largely works the same. And it has been very useful to me to be able to start to put things in buckets and find things a little bit easier as my library grows because it is getting a bit daunting having all of these thumbnails popping up at me. And it was nice to be able to create this collections feature so I can get at some of my favorite stuff faster uh, than I was able to before. Hope you found this helpful. Let me know what helpful tips you might have for Plex organization down in the comments below. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters of the Black Eyed and Blues Music Hour podcast, Chris Allegretta, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.